Hey guys, I'm going to talk about how you can manage the Active Directory password policy. So there is a default password policy in Active Directory to control how passwords are managed throughout the domain environment. To view or manage this policy, open up Server Manager, click on Tools and click on Group Policy Management. Expand the AD Forest and expand the domains. Expand your domain and right click on default domain policy and click on edit. Under computer configuration, expand policies, expand Windows settings, expand security settings, expand account policy and click on password policy. In here, you can view and change your default password policy for the domain as per your organization's requirements. The first one, enforce password history. The default is 24. This setting specifies the number of unique passwords users must create before they can reuse one of their old password. Keeping the default value is recommended as it reduces the risk of users using the passwords that have been compromised. The next one is maximum password age. The default is 42. This setting defines how long a password can exist before the system forces the user to change it. Setting this to zero means that the password never expires, which is not recommended. The next one is minimum password age. The default is one day. This setting specifies how long a password must exist before the user is allowed to change it again. This setting will ensure that the users will not change their password multiple times in the same day to use their favorite password again. Even after a user crosses the default threshold of enforced password history, which is 24. The next one is minimum password length. The default is seven. This setting defines the minimum number of characters a password can have. Just so you know, shorter passwords are easier for hackers to crack and long passwords can lead to lockouts from mistyping it and also to security risks when users write down their password. The next setting is minimum password length audit. The default is not defined. This setting exists for organizations who would like to determine the impact of imposing a minimum password length. When this setting is enabled and the password length exceeds the current minimum password length, Windows will generate an audit event. The next one is password must meet complexity requirements. The default is enabled. This setting ensures that there is at least an uppercase letter, lowercase letter, number, as well as a symbol in the password. This type of complexity makes it harder for brute force attacks to succeed. The next one is relax minimum password length limits. The default is not defined. So the legacy Windows operating systems capped the minimum password length at 14 characters. The relax minimum password length limit setting allows organization to exceed this limit to enforce longer password. The last one is store passwords using reversible encryption. The default is disabled, but this setting must be enabled for apps that require users to enter a password for authentication. The recommendation is to keep this disabled because enabling it would allow attackers to log into the network if an user account gets compromised. The only exception to enable this setting is when using Internet Authentication Services IAS or the Challenge Handshake Authentication Protocol, which is CHAP. The default password policy is good enough for most organizations. However, admins can customize the default password policy. And just so you know, there is no option to set the maximum password length in Active Directory but Active Directory supports a maximum password length of 256 characters. Unfortunately, you cannot set that in Windows GUI. And if you would like to set a longer password, you can use PowerShell or programmatically set the longer password. Such long passwords are pretty uncommon, but you can still use them for service accounts. I hope you like this video. For more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel.